Hallelujah. Welcome to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and welcome to the second day of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Blind Whiskey Tasting Advent Calendar, featuring me, ADHD Whiskey. Sometimes I do an intro for a video, and then I tell myself you should redo that, and then I don't redo it, like I'm not doing right now, or am doing, but not redoing it. And then when I go back to edit it, I go, wow, I really should have redone that. Which will probably be the case for that intro. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time for that. Looking back on it, I probably did have the time. Anyway, day two of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Advent Calendar. I'm taking a blind sample out of the box behind me. I'm pouring it into a glass. I'm gonna talk about it as I taste it and nose it, and I'll ultimately score its ass. At the end of the video, I'll reveal the day's pour, and then we'll do it again on day three and day four, and day five, and day six, and day seven, and day eight, day nine, Day 10, day 11, day 13, day 14, day 15, day 16, day 17, day 18, day 19, day 20, day 21, day 22, day 23, Christmas Eve, day 24, and day 25. If you're still here, let's go ahead and pour sample two. Ugh. America. If you're wondering about my lingering sickness, it is still there. It is still there, except for not like super there, but still kind of there. My stomach feels like a melting pot for battery acid. And then it's overflowing like a pot of noodles every time I cook anything that has to do with noodles. So I've got a lot of acidic stuff happening right in here on this day number two of December. And not cool, man. Not friggin' cool. Ooh. Mmm. Ooh. Wow. Mm-hmm. This smells like graham cracker and Nutella. It's like if you took a graham cracker and broke it in half and then you smeared Nutella on one half of the graham cracker and then put the other half on top and made a Nutella graham cracker sandwich and you squished it. And Nutella came out the sides like. That is maybe the most accurate thing I've ever said. Except for not nearly as accurate as what I'm about to say. It's like you took a Nutter Butter, which are freaking delicious, and then you opened it up and then you put Nutella inside that, and then closed it, and then the Nutella came out the sides. That's even more accurate. Picking up a little lumber, it's like a charred wood. Yeah, definite barrel influence on day number two. It's like you took that Nutter Butter Nutella sandwich and you dropped it inside a new charred oak barrel filled with bourbon and graham cracker staves. That's what that smells like. Oh, I'm so good at this, I'm on fire. Day number two, down the hatch. Wow. First sip of whiskey for the day, and that is all uppercut directly to my face. And by face, I mean the dangler in the back of my tongue, the speed bag. It's just a high proof hammer fist, wham, right to the back of my mouth. First thing I thought of when tasting that was, oh, we got another nutty bugger here, a bit of a nutty bugger. This time of year, a lot of people refer to me as the nutcracker, because when I go through an advent calendar, I can pick out all the nutty whiskeys basically super effortlessly. I crack the code, the nutcracker. It's like a Baby Ruth bar, Babe Ruth bar, a Baby Ruth? It's a Baby Ruth, it's like the nuts with the caramel. It's lacking the chocolate. It's like nutty caramel, almost a bit of brininess to it. There's almost a bit of saltiness to it, which is strange. It's like, it's lacking a sweet component that normally I would get out of a delicious bourbon whiskey, but this is still pretty delicious, even though it's like not necessarily sweet enough to be delicious. And I know I said caramel and caramel would be sweet, but it's more like the stickiness of the caramel and the flavor of the caramel without like the ultimate ultra super sweetness of the caramel. It's just the glue holding the nuts together. Like the advanced pouches they're putting in the brand new pairs of men's underpants. Really reminds me of a Baby Ruth bar, like I said. a Little bit of salty, a little bit of nuttiness. 
There seems to be some barrel remnants or barrel char that kind of like remain on the back of the palate, kind of like sitting on the back of the tongue alongside Mr. Peanut. Proof? Around 120? Um, if I had to guess, Knob Creek? A Knob Creek single barrel? That would be a guess of mine. A nine year Knob Creek single barrel, 120 proof. Am I sure about that? No. Unless, of course, I find out at the end of the video that it is that, in which case, am I sure about that? Oh yeah, I'm positive. And what do you know, we've reached the point in the video where I go ahead, give it a score, which is a 7.4, and then we grab the envelope and reveal what we be drinking. Whew. Day number two, we were drinking. Elijah Craig 15. 50-50 blend of Elijah Craig Peril Booth, because it says ECPB. <laughs> you fudged it up. <laughs> oh, told you I'm the nutcracker. I busted your balls, Damon. And 50% Elijah Craig 18. So Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C921 and Elijah Craig 18 comes out to 105.1 proof. I thought it tasted a little hotter than that. Uh, I guess I was wrong. I also said Knob Creek, which also would be wrong. That's what we drank on day number two, a fun little blend from the Minnesota Whiskey Elite, Elijah Craig 15. And that's gonna do it for day number two. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, then do that. It's totally free. Both of those things are so free. That wasn't a cheap day, that's for sure. That was expensive. Who went away? My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on remembering that that friggin' little elf has to be moved every night don't forget i know it's the beginning of the month and it's easy to forget but it's got to go do new adventures every night when the kids are sleeping so get that little shit into some trouble you know have the elf do some devilish things in the middle of the night you know what i mean have it dig through your medicine cabinet get a little loopy on benadryl i think my elf might accidentally step on a mouse trap tonight bring that back to the north pole Anyway, see you tomorrow for day number three of the Minnesota Whiskey Advent Calendar. Love you all so much. Hope you're having a great friggin' weekend. 